Welcome to my channel, Bulgarian Language Academy Bella, where you can learn Bulgarian language with me, Bistra. Добре дошли на канала ми Bella, където можете да изучавате български език с мен, Bistra. Today's video is about 10 things that I've been taught when I was a child. So let's start. Number one, don't sit on a cold stone. When I was a child, my grandma used to say that sitting on a cold stone is even worse than being bitten by a snake. Because you don't realize the damage that the cold can do to your body. Number two. Don't put your back and clothes on the ground and don't sit on the ground. It's dirty. And if you live in the UK, I don't know, maybe some other countries as well, you'll know that English people, they put everything on the floor and they sit on the floor. They just don't care. It doesn't matter how dirty it is. I don't know what they think, really. But Bulgarians don't do that. Number three, take your shoes off when you get home. So when I was a child, it was a habit. And watching some films I can see in some countries, they still do that. So when you get home, you take your dirty shoes off and put on slippers. Number four, cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough. So you see children and everyone, they cover their mouth. That is something we do. Number five, always wash your hands. So we love washing our hands. Or we may be used to. I don't know about new generations. But we did that. So when I was a child, yes, we had to wash our hands often. Number six is the way you carry your umbrella. That's very important. Now, I know we have these folded umbrellas you can put in your bag. It's a small one. It's okay, but remember the big umbrellas you can carry. You have to hold it down. And if you hold it like horizontally, you can hurt people in front of you or behind of you. If it's vertically, there is no chance to hurt anyone. And probably you've heard about the famous case about Georgi Markov, who was killed with an umbrella. If you haven't heard about that, you can Google it. Yes. So the umbrella can be dangerous. Many people don't realize that when they carry the umbrella in the streets, on the buses, and, oh, come on, on the escalators, the person behind you, the poor person behind you, Number seven, respect elderly. Yes, when I was a child, that was something in my country. We had to respect elderly. We had to give uh, a seat. We have to give the seat for them. You have to open the door or just listen and do what they say. We had to do that. I doubt that people nowadays still do it or maybe not to that extent but that's something from my childhood number eight don't skip a meal i think the most difficult part was to eat breakfast when i didn't feel hungry i didn't feel like eating breakfast but i had to because my grandma was chasing me with a spoon so i had to eat my breakfast now as an adult and we know new things that you can, in fact, skip the breakfast. That's not a big deal. And it can be even beneficial. Number nine. Number nine is an interesting one. You have to dress according the seasons and your age. So there were certain things not accepted with your age when you grow older. And people were always talking about that. 
I'm sure nowadays that people still do that. I think everyone just dresses the way they want. And even in the UK, I would say it doesn't matter what the season is. You can see people dressed in all different ways. The first thing I've noticed here in the UK was the flip-flops. Even in the winter, like no shoes, nothing. People walk in flip-flops. That's a that was a huge surprise. It's like a shock, cultural shock. Number ten, be polite. Now I'm sure some of you who have been to Bulgaria may say that people are rude. Probably you have encountered situations and people who have been rude to you. But when I was a child, people were polite. Still, you. You were able to hear things, so gossiping behind your back, yes, but usually people were polite. And these were the 10 things that I reckon from my childhood. What about your country? What do you remember or what things you've been taught to? Share down below in the comments. That was all from me for now. I hope you liked the video. If so, please like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. That's all from me for now. Dovizdene. Goodbye.